Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D. Lloyd. Now, I am glad to announce the Philadelphia Eagles have acquired a new quarterback, and that quarterback is going to be Johnny Manziel. Now, we traded a fourth-round pick and Sam Bradford basically for Johnny Manziel. The other two players were just pretty much fill-in players to make the salary cap work. But basically, we got ourselves another quarterback. I announced the last video I was going to be benching Michael Vick. And we got a new quarterback. So, in his first game in the Eagles uniform, we're going to be taking on the New York Giants, who are 2-3 and three on Monday Night Football. So, we're going to start off the commentary second and six. Johnny Manziel is going to keep it on the QB read. He's trying to take off to the outside, but he is unable to go anywhere, only getting a gain of two. Now, the next play on third and four, Johnny Manziel is under center. He's going to throw this one to the tight end, Brett Seller, who comes up with the reception. And he is going to take this one into New York territory. So now the next play, we're going to hand this one off to DeMarco Murray up the middle. Look at the juke move. And he's going to lower his shoulder to get the first down. Now a couple of plays later, now at the 17-yard line, Johnny Manziel's in shock and he's trying to step up, but he will be brought down for a sack. So that's going to force a second to 14 for Philly. Manziel's going to look and he is going to find his other tight end, Zach Ertz. And that is going to be his first touchdown of the season and his first touchdown as a member of the Philadelphia for Eagles, but here comes the other quarterback, Eli Manning. Six touchdowns, five interceptions so far this season. So a, a very mediocre season for Eli Manning so far. And on his first play, he's going to throw an interception to Byron Maxwell, who co comes down with the pick. Now on second and nine for the Philadelphia Eagles, we're able to find Nelson Aguilar, who comes up with the first down. Now the next play, Johnny Manziel is under center. He's going to drop back, and he will be brought down for a sack. So that's going to set up a second and long. Manziel's in shotgun again, and this time he is going to throw an interception, and that one is going to be his first interception of the season. So now third and four on the next possession for the New York Giants. This is going to be Eli Manning throwing an interception to Maxwell once again, and he is going to take this one into the end zone for a touchdown. So the Philadelphia Eagles are going to take a 14 to nothing lead against the New York Giants. Now on our next possession, Johnny Manziel has the football. He's trying to roll out to his left. He will be brought down for a sack. So now the second and 20 for the Philadelphia Eagles. Manziel steps up into the pocket and he will be sacked once again, this time by Jason Pierre-Paul. Now third and 26. Manziel is going to throw this one for Jordan Matthews who comes up with the reception and that is going to be a first down. So now second and eight. Manziel is going to throw it to DeMarco Murray who breaks the tackle and he will be brought down out of bounds. First and 10 now for the Philadelphia Eagles. Johnny Manziel is going to throw this one deep into the end zone. That is a catch by Nelson Aguilar as we take another look at this touchdown. Nelson Aguilar one-on-one -on -one with Prince Mucamore and he goes up and makes a fantastic play on the football to give the Eagles a 21 point lead in this ball game. But here comes the New York Giants. Hopefully they can get some offense going. They're gonna throw this one deep and this one will be intercepted. Interception number three on the day. This time Walter Thurman is the one that comes up with the pick and we're going right back to work. Finding Jordan Matthews once again. He's taking this one up the sideline and that is another Touchdown, Johnny Manziel's third touchdown of the half. We're still in the first half. He already has three touchdowns. But here come the Giants, and this is Rashad Jennings breaking tackles. He's taking this one down near midfield. Now a couple of plays later for the Giants. They hand it off to Jennings once again. He cuts up, and he is able to get nine yards on that carry. Now second and one. They're going to go with a play fake. Eli Mann is going to look, and he almost throws interception number four. That pass was attended for Victor Cruz. Now third and one. This is going to be a sack. So there's still no points on the board for the New York Giants, and the Eagles have the football once again. Manziel is going to throw this one to Zach Ertz, and look at the juke move. He's able to get to about the 28-yard line. Now the very next play, Johnny Manziel is in shotgun formation. We're going to run a slip screen to DeMarco Murray. He's going to come up with the catch, and he is going to take this one down to about the 43-yard line. The very next play, once again, we hand it off right back to Murray. He's going to spin, and he's going to take this one up the middle for a first down. Now a couple of plays later at the 40-yard line, Johnny Manziel is looking for Nelson Aguilar on the drag route. 
he clearly overthrows him, and that will be his second interception thrown in the ball game. So now the Giants are trying to score before halftime. They're going to find Fells, who comes up with the reception, and this will end up setting them up for a field goal. So they will get three points off of the turnover, but the score is still 28-3. And they're going to end up kicking this one off with two seconds remaining in the half. This is Nelson Aguilar who's going to juke to the outside. And now Nelson Aguilar is off to the races. He's going to try to beat the angle that the guy is trying to take. But he's going to end up getting past him. And that is going to be a touchdown for Nelson Aguilar returning the kick. And we are now up 35-3. to So now in the third quarter, the Giants have a lot of work to do. Eli Manning almost throws another interception right there. It is now third and 12. Eli's dropping back. He's going to throw it. And this one's going to get knocked out of the hands of Odell Beckham Jr. So we get the football. It is now... Second and four near midfield. This is going to be Johnny Manziel stepping up, and he will be brought down for it, but he will still pick up the first down. Now third and ten for the Eagles. Johnny Manziel is going to go with the play action. He is going to try to roll out to his right, but he will be brought down for a sack, and this is going to be terrible news, something we absolutely did not want to see. Johnny Manziel will be out of the game with a broken Collarbone, so we would not have Johnny Manziel for seven weeks. That is going to bring back out Michael Vick. So after being demoted this week, Michael Vick is now back in the ball game, and it is second and one. He's going to throw this one. He's going to complete this one to Brett Selleck, who comes up with the first down. Now the next play for the Eagles. Michael Vick is trying to throw this one deep down the field, and this one will fall incomplete as Jordan Matthews can now hold on to it. So now the next play, we hand this one off to DeMarco Murray. Look at that juke move. He is able to get about 12 yards on that one. Now second and 11. Mike Vick is looking for the out route, and this one is almost intercepted. So now third and 11. Mike Vick's going to step up, but he cannot find an open receiver. He will be brought down for a sack. So now the Giants get the football back. They are still trailing by 32 points. They're throwing this one deep down the field. And this one is going to be intercepted. And that is going to be the fourth interception thrown by Eli Manning in this ball game. We're taking this one down to the 34-yard line. And now we're going to bring in Steven Morris, the quarterback out of Miami. And on his first play, he's going to complete a pass on the slant route. Now right here on second and 11, we're looking for Zach Ertz, but we will overthrow him. So now it is second and 21. Morris is looking, and this time he will connect with Zach Ertz. So now it is third and seven for Morris. He's going to look. He's going to throw this one at Darren Sproles, who will be brought down inches short of the first down marker. So we do decide to go for it on fourth down. So I want to give Morris enough work to see what he can do. He's only really going to have this one drive. So now second and nine. Morris is looking. He's going to scramble out to his right, throw it in across his body, and look at the catch by Zach Ertz making an absolutely monster grab. Now the next play, we're running the bubble screen to Nelson Aguilar who takes off for the pylon and he is in there for a touchdown and that is going to be the ball game. The Philadelphia Eagles are going to cruise in this one 42 to 6. So we do have a quarterback problem once again. I thought I solved the problem by getting Johnny Manziel but we're back at square one only this time we don't have our fourth round pick and we don't have Sam Bradford but looking at the stats for the first game Johnny Manziel, 116 quarterback rating. Morris, 126. He did not play bad whatsoever. Johnny Manziel had three touchdowns, two interceptions. Morris obviously came in and had that one touchdown pass. DeMarco Murray running the ball, 16 carries for 93 yards. And he also led our team with five receptions for 35 yards as well. But like I said, Johnny football is out for seven weeks. So he will return this season. But... We need another quarterback until then. Now, I don't know what I want to do, and this is why I need you guys to give me your feedback. Do we keep one of the quarterbacks we have, or do we look at a cheap replacement such as Garrett Grayson? You see his stats right here. 81 speed, 89 throwing power, 78 short accuracy, 72 mid accuracy, and then a 70, I believe 75 throw on the run, which is not bad. Another option I could possibly get very cheap will be Bryce Petty. Now the reason why I'm targeting these players is because they are third on the depth chart. I shouldn't be able to get them for maybe a seventh or a sixth round pick. It shouldn't be that hard. And then another option will be AJ McCarron. And I really, like I said, don't know which quarterback I want to go with or 
you know, just keep one of the quarterbacks that I currently have. But let me know in the comment section below what would you like to see us do in the upcoming weeks. But that's it for this episode. Please go ahead and leave this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D-Lord. I'm going to see you all next time. Peace.